I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for watching today. We're going to try a few different pellets. Thanks to some of our good friends at AEA who sent it over in the new Avenge X. This thing is 25 cal and it's rocking. Keep watching, let's see what weight pellet works best. A very special thank you to Zan Slugs for sponsoring the channel. Um, we're not going to use that in this video today, but I use them for my competition purposes and they rock. I've had supreme accuracy with their 25 cals uh, in my competition guns and their 45 cal slugs, which are out now in my Air Force. You should pick some of those up. There's a link below. Okay guys, we just got done doing an initial test of the Avenge X. That video, excuse me, is out. Um, but AEA sent me pellets of various sizes. They surprised me with a box, and I'm very grateful to them. Uh, so we're gonna try a few of these pellet weights and see how they do. We've got 25.3 uh, as our starter, and then we've got 29. I'm gonna read them directly to you because they don't have them memorized. 29.5 and then 33.9. Now, the JSB 25 grain 25 cal worked quite well out of this. So I'm guessing that this is going to do well too. Let's see how we do. I'm gonna aim at our target. Let me zoom back in here. The Avenge X is very adjustable. So even if it doesn't work out of the box with a good weight, uh, it can be tuned to work with whatever weight you would like. That's pretty cool. So. Let's take a few shots here. This is starting with the lowest weight, 25 cal. Shooting for the bottom left corner of the top left target. It was 908. Make sure I'm not canting the gun here. Same hole, 914. Same hole, 910. Same hole, holy crap, 911. Wow. Okay, that works really well. Uh, I'm not surprised at all by that. So I was using the regular 25 JSB pellets and it worked excellently with that. About the same speeds as well. These are going slightly faster, but now we're gonna try the 29 grain. So what I've done in the 13 round magazine that comes in the box with the Avenge X, I've got six rounds of the 29 grain and then seven rounds of the 33.9 grain. So let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, these are gonna drop significantly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim for top right target, top left corner of that target. Okay, so here we go. Not as significant of a drop as I expected, 848. Okay, it's one mil low, that's more or less. Wow. And you can actually tell that's uh, about, you see those squares on the target there, about half inch squares, if I remember right. So we've dropped two squares, whereas with the lighter grain pellets, we dropped only one. So that's really quite impressive. 843, not a bad drop at all, and good accuracy. Okay, we've got our first deviation. May have just been me. Yep, we're back into the same hole now. Okay, aside from that flyer, that's really quite impressive. Um, all right, now we're going into the heavier ones now. So I'm gonna aim top right corner of the top right target. Okay, we got some more drop, 781. But the same freaking hole, man. Wow, 794. <laughs> 792, it's leveling off. <laughs> 
792 again. You can see there's a little bit of speed deviation on that first shot or so uh, each time you change pellets. That's as the gun gets used to the new one. Same hole, 791 again. Dang, 789 and that's it. Really impressive. Hey Travis. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Very, again, special thank you to AEA for sending that out and to Air Gun Depot for sending the Avenge X out uh, for us to test. All three of these pellets worked really well in this gun. Uh, accuracy was excellent and that proves to me that this can take heavier weight pellets and still have excellent accuracy down range. Now, if you're going to shoot slugs, you got to tune it. Um, these are really designed for pellets more than they are slugs. So just bear that in mind. But uh, if you tune it, I haven't tried it yet, but my guess is that it's going to show up with some good accuracy. So really you can go from 25 grain all the way up to 34 grain and still get stupendous accuracy. Now your speed's gonna differ, of course. 790 is still pretty impressive with 34, but if we screw with the hammer and the regulator, I'm sure we could get more than that. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you guys for watching this quick test video. Um, more from this gun will be coming forthwith. Long distance, I'm the Dollar Sportsman.